Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to Dragon Age 2. In the last video, we climbed a mountain, took down a dragon for no apparent reason whatsoever. And uh, now we are heading out of Sundam... Uh, is that what we're called? Sundamount. I don't think the uh, the blog blog, the Varowl... What the heck is it called? The Vrnkvug. Vartorel. The Vartorel. I don't think it's here at the moment. It must be connected to... Another quest, another passageway, something like that. The quest does say we're not going to just stumble upon it, so... I've got to assume we'll find it later on. Uh, so we're just going to try to get out of here. It's a bit of a trek, actually. It must be sad. We have to go all... Do we have to go all the way back? We have to go all the way back. And then we're going to head to the Wounded Coast. And this is why they make me trek out, because there's something to try to murder me. <laughs> uh, we're going to respec. <laughs> I've been thinking about it all morning. <laughs> I've decided I'm once again going to respec. Um, there's a few spells I want to change around. Not too much, but just just a, a handful of things I'd like to do a little bit differently. The problem is that you kind of you learn as you play, right? You kind of pick up on things, and oh my god, <laughs> it just got obliterated. You pick up on things, you learn new things, obviously with time. And um, means, there are things I would like to do ever so slightly differently. Well, not a big deal. It won't take very long whatsoever. Like I said, we'll do that later on. We'll be back to town in a little bit. Lovely job. We also need cash. Because we're very poor. We're, we're getting there again. But uh, And also, I kind of want to make sure I can buy all the tomes, all the... Anything that's going to give me attributes or skill points and all that kind of jazz. And they cost a blim blamin' fortune. I need to buy less gear. Because we find gear in a way, so maybe just... Unless we saw, like, an incredible... Sexy piece of gear. The kind of gear that makes you go... Wowzers trousers, right? Unless you go wowzers trousers. <laughs> is it really the gear that you want? I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Will we go wowzers trousers today? That is the question. That is the question. <laughs> Giant spiders remained. It's looking very, very dramatic. It must be said with the... The light beams coursing in from the ceiling. Lovely stuff. Spent half an hour getting out of this godforsaken cave. I just, I just came up the mountain to murder a dragon. That's all I did. I've got to say, we're doing well. I feel like... I'm very tired, by the way. <sighs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, I'm dying. It's half ten in the morning. But I've been awake since half ten in the morning so <laughs> things are a bit messy I'm just trying to stay awake to uh to, I, I say fix my sleeping pattern and what will happen is it'll be fine for like a day and then it'll be an abject disaster all over again there's a big spider in the corner of my bedroom they love that corner that corner specifically is where all the spiders hang out there's only ever one it's usually not the same spider they've got like a rotation system going on anyways uh, we can get out this way. Um, I'll actually sell some stuff first. I didn't pick up any useful gear, did I? That is an upgrade, but I don't think it's... Uh... No, we should hang... I'm just going to put like a full... Yeah, okay, I know what, I know what I'm going to do. Don't worry about it. Don't you worry your pretty little heads. Don't need that anymore. I haven't been using the... Um... Any of the special potions. We only have elf fruit ones that we made ourselves, but I haven't used them at all. They do Today cure injuries, so none, hmm, maybe I should actually. I'm gonna we're gonna stick that that robe in the in the chest. We might not do it immediately, but it's it's there for the future. You never know. But first, we are heading to the Wounded Coast for a gajillion different quests, as you can see, at least four different missions out here on the Wounded Coast. If Hawk doesn't discover a valuable crafting resource, someone else is sure to find it. Undiscovered resources will disappear as some years roll by. It's kind of like everything else. When you jump between acts, you know, we're three years in now. There's been a a large passage, 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 eh? a large passage of time. So you need to uh, make sure you're fully exploring and buying all the important stuff in every act. Otherwise, it will be gone forever, which is quite sad. But it, uh, it's cool in that it does give the game a feeling of time 
passing on. You know, the city is slightly different. People are selling different things. There's new resources. There's new quests. Blog, blog. You know, just uh, Aveline, for example, had a had a whole new job. Well, she she got her promotion and she had a whole new gear set. She, had, I mean, her clothing is different visually, which is cool. Things are changing with time. I I think it's a pretty interesting story thing. Honestly, my only real criticism, I think this game is better than Origins, except in two ways. No, oh, no, you've been ringed. <laughs> what are you going to do now? Absolutely nothing for the entire fight? Sure looks like it. However, the ring is bugged, I'm pretty sure. I keep getting this error where I can't seem to uh, attack the people in the ring. And he's just he's just, he's just sitting there forever. I think it's slightly bugged. But it is, I think, probably one of the best spells in the game. Ooh, Mythal's Favor. Oh, and more elf root. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, so too many reused environments. Um, Dragon Age Origins had way better variety in its environments than Dragon Age 2 does. I'm sure there's more to come, but we spent so much time in the city. We spent so much time here on the Wounded Coast, etc, etc, etc. You know, it definitely doesn't have the same variety. Because as far as I'm aware, they were a little bit pushed for time when it came to Dragon Age 2. And I would say the main story hasn't grabbed me quite as much yet. Um, it's, I'm enjoying the stories, but it feels more like lots of little stories. There isn't like this central plot quite yet, you know, that's really grabbing my attention in the way that we had in the main game. In the first game, I should say. And this game is going for something different, and that's really why, but... That's what it is. Okay, Kunari Patrol was killed. Report this to the Kunari. Ah, right. Before nightfall, are you suggesting I go back? What did I say? Actually, that just means to do it in daytime. Um, that was the Kunari who asked us if we were the ones who'd killed the patrol. And obviously, we hadn't. Lieutenant Harley. These are all guards. Oh, buddy! Lieutenant Harley? Aveline? Thank the Maker. What's going on here? We're not reinforcements, if that's what you're waiting for. Bollocks! Little Bedham must not have made it back. We're up against Evett's marauders. Evett's? Shit. Phil Orden's up there, and Victor Longdeath's handiwork you've already seen. We tried two sorties up the path, but it's trapped to oblivion. Now I'd be thankful just to get out of here alive. No fair, God Dog! You've brought friends! Shut your mouth! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll do it. It's too dangerous for you and your men. Stay put. I'll take care of it. Look out for traps. Be careful. Evert's mortars are deadly. I don't want her to die. Aveline! You should like me for that! I was being nice to your people! I was genuinely just saying that to keep them alive! How is that not a positive? Ow. <laughs> I'm really confused by that. I really thought I was doing the right thing. Self-sacrificing. <laughs> there are traps everywhere, but... Like I keep saying, traps outside of combat don't really make a difference. Hey guys. There's a lot of- Whoa! Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> I just got obliterated. My god. Um, interesting. Maybe I'm gonna send Aveline, Aveline in first. I'm not sure. I just, I just vanished. Like, poof. Like that. Poof. She summoned the dog as well. Come on, Casarus. We've got this. We're, we're fine. We're safe again. Trap ahead. Oh, right. Thanks, Isabel. It's done. Oh, well, that'll help. 
Hello. <laughs> right. We we'll start with nine. Then into Tempest. Then into eight. That didn't work. That did the opposite of what I was trying to do. Get double petrified, nerd. I keep this guy locked down, everyone else goes to do other things. That's some powerful blood magic. Assassin! Gotcha! Dead? That was easy. I cough. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'll tell Lieutenant Jalen at the keep what you've done. I'll make sure he rewards you. Good work yourself, Lieutenant. Make sure the others know it. Men, we're heading home. I can't believe Avalyn does not approve of me in that way. That's so sad. You're such a slave driver. <laughs> uh, right, we'll continue exploring the area. No loot. No loot at all. Oh, there we go. I'm uh, pretty sure I just saw a trap. Ooh, robe of the. That looks good. Oh, flex chain guardsman pattern. New slot for Aveline. Nice. Can't believe I'm gonna have three out of four by the end of the game. So irritating. Uh, right, robe of the notorious pirate. Oh, this might be worse. What's well, less armor? I'm not sure that is better. Goddamn Spiral Eye ruining my life. I mean, the Spiral Eye bonus is not that good. It's 20 mana, which is fine. And then, like, one willpower? Isn't that all it is? I think both of these are probably better. I think, I, I think I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait till I've got one more piece that I want to use. If I can find some gloves, boots, or a helm that I think are a sufficient upgrade, we're just going to commit to it and swap out. I think, that's a, I think that's the right play. That looks promising. Nope, rubbish. My staff is pretty fantastic. If I, if I do say so myself. And I do. Someone has to say it, right? Okie dokie. I think we're done with this bit. Still lots more to do on the coast, I'm sure. What was I saying, anyway? I was saying something. No. I'm going to set myself on fire. <laughs> you can't stop me. <laughs> You're not the boss of me. Ow. <laughs> There's a lot of things I want to do. I mean, I don't think it'll be much different. It seems like um, Burst and Fist of the Maker, I don't really... I've always I have to get them to get to the other abilities, I think. I don't want to pick up Horror. I don't want to pick up Spirit anymore. I want to put more into Elemental. I've just got some slight changes I want to make. Horror sucks, <laughs> so we're getting rid of it. I see a chesticle... Oh. Priorities is a buzzer. Is a buzzer? Is a buzzer? <laughs> Priorities is a little is a, is a bella. Oh no. Protect me. Protect me. I'm soft and squishy. Assassins are spooky. That guy popped up behind me when I already arrived, like we knew he was coming, right? And uh, did well over half my HP.
Okie dokie, let's continue on, see what we can find around here. New rune design, cool, rune of defense, definitely one we need. I thought we could already make that. Maybe that's a better version. Oh no, defense versus armor, I think. And there's nothing else, we're making some cachola. Uh, I see you boys. Oh, they're all dead. <laughs> they're literally just all dead. God damn. <laughs> Tempest is a monster. Stop lagging. If I, if I say in that really irritating voice, what chances do they have of not paying attention to me? Exactly. There's something up here. I don't know if it's here or near the path, but we're going this way anyway. All right, go. Game, come on. You're like 14 years old. You're not allowed to lag. <laughs> There's like laws against this kind of thing. Okay, scary mage. Oh, the, there he is. The scary mage did the scary thing. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Where has he gone? Who's that? Petrify. There we go. Just need to keep him locked down. We have seen. What incredible, incredible damage those things can do. How about you? These Sarabas are uh, scarier than dragons. <laughs> they are the scariest enemies in the game, on ironically. No enemy in this game has caused more deaths for me than the Sarabas. I will say though, like we went up to hard difficulty and we kind of got whomped initially, but since then we've been pretty okay. We've died a couple of times. Hey Magnus, what do you sell? Uh, enchanted mace. Oh god, look at that. 130. Okay, I mean it's pretty great. <laughs> 40 mana, 10 mana regen, 30 cold damage, 6 magic, and blood ma Okay, that is an incredible stuff. Don't know how I'd ever afford it, but it is pretty incredible. Are they any good? Yeah, they're pretty good as well. Can, can, just give me something that I can afford. <laughs> no, it doesn't sound anything special. Sell my junk. Uh, I don't think I need anything. Oh wait, didn't I say I was going to keep? Right, then I'll decide that in a second. One sec. Let's go with all this. Am I keeping any of these? No, no. Right, my stuff's already pretty amazing. Yeah, my stuff's pretty. Pretty spectacular. Um, we need to keep one of these robes. Which one do we prefer? That one's got 20 more armor and more defense. This one's got more attack, which I don't really care about. But it also has a slot. And... And it's got enemies drop more coins, so I'm gonna stick with that one, I think. You are in a strange place, Ferelden. Tell right. me about it. Also, what does it look like? That's kind of the important thing. Oh yeah. Knowing is hard. Okay, yes, right. I need a piece of gear ASAP. I would like to swap out, please. I honestly might just swap anyway, just because it gives me um enemies drop more coin. That's actually the only difference between the two, is I get a slot and the enemies drop more coin. And for that, I'm going to lose 20 mana. And a little bit of attack, apparently, for some reason. I'm not sure why. That doesn't make sense to me. But my attack's 100% anyway, so it doesn't matter. And I lose, like, one willpower. But, I mean, <laughs> come on. It looks so much cooler. I have no regrets. That's the... Alchemist quest. We just need to find the Farrakulak. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I mean, hey, look, we need money, right? So. It's fine. And it looks baller. <laughs> and now I don't have to feel bad about 
removing the other spiral lit eye pieces. Like, sets are really cool when you first get them, but eventually they just paralyze you through choice. Never then crafty little fella. I look so cool. I look like a pirate. It's, make, it's genuinely making me so happy. <laughs> it's the little things, folks. It's the little things. I like that in this game, I can I can dress, I can wear robes or mage things or whatever, and I don't have to look like a mage, necessarily. Look at me! I'm a baller! I can't get over it! That's made my day. Ow. That hasn't made my day, though. Alright, alright. A little bit eager. A little bit eager. No, I'm dead. Not today. Oh, we'll be fine. Um, one sec. Just try this ability out. Ah. That seems strong. You brought this on yourself, you know. Oh, oh this fight's worse than I expected. <laughs> the enemies kind of just keep coming. Avalyn. Avalyn. Uh oh. Can Avalyn handle all of this on her own? No, not a chance. I just, I died way too quickly. Okay, I just said that I wasn't dying and that things were going really well, and then I just got absolutely obliterated. It was just one of the circumstances where there was just too many enemies. And Meryl is not set up well. She keeps doing this thing. She, she set in order to turn on blood magic and then to turn on thing, but because she sometimes turns off her blood magic when she's on low health, she keeps the um, heroic aura on and that and in that case it, it messes things up a little bit so you have to turn this off turn that back on and then you can turn this on still don't know why that works but it works <laughs> so all I have to know is that it works do I have a dog? no let's get a dog ready as well some guys down here right? yeah oh the boss Okay, save. Spooky room. Trap ahead. That Isabella. Okay, didn't realize Isabella was dying, if I'm honest. Okay, I think it's safe to say we need to, uh, um, we need to get rid of this trap. <laughs> Let's get, I think the trap caused a lot of problems that time. Meryl's having a problem in that she just isn't healing because she's she's standing at range she's burning through her spells and taking range damage and but she doesn't heal unless she's in the midst of combat and she's hard to I, I need to set her to melee somehow you know I need her to to run in like a lunatic basically and that's where she's gonna thrive but she's not doing it which is fair because doing it seems silly Isabella. Watch us. There. It's done. All right, hopefully a bit better this time. They're gonna kill me. There. I'm
you hit my dog? God damn, rogues are insane. Absolutely insane. Nora. That was a uh, tense little fight right there. A lot of damage coming in. It's just the assassins. If they get on top of me, I'm screwed. So we need to. I don't know what we do against that, really, other than be super duper careful, I suppose. Uh. Hello. Wait, let me just check with Meryl. Yep, looking good. Quickly, before more guards come. Terry said she'd find a way to rescue me. I will never forget this. Okay. Okay, sweet. Done. Oh, I hope... I hope... Oh, God, I need to sneeze so badly. Apologies. Bloody Nora. Whoa! Got me some torn trousers. Ring of the Seven Watchers. Not bad, actually. I'll do gear check later. I haven't said Wowser's trousers quite yet. Although, for that stuff, it was very, very expensive, but it may have been a Wowser's trousers stuff, admittedly. I probably should have said. If I'd found the stuff in the wild, in its natural habitat, <laughs> I may have said Wowser's trousers, but it's harder to say Wowser's trousers for something you find in the shop, you know? Because at the end of the day, you have to pay for the trousers, you know? And I just don't like to pay for my trousers. Can't go this way, can I? Nope. Alrighty, good job, guys. Let's get out of here. That was a tough little fight. It's because I said we've been doing well. I think, considering we're playing on hard, I think we're doing okay. Nightmare would be a whole different kettle of fish. I'm not going to pretend otherwise. Just because it turns on friendly fire. That would really change up how I have to play. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. It's going alright. I think easy. I think if we'd played on normal, we'd have just walked through the game. I don't think anyone would have fainted once at this point. There's waltz through saying Wowser's trousers. I can't stop looking at this bloody spider. Uh, right, are we done out here? Oh, God, so many little side quests. I, th I think we might be. We'll keep exploring, make sure we've fully done the area, but then we'll go back, check all the inventory, do a quick little respec, and then hopefully I won't have to do it again. Like, hopefully now I've solidified in my in my mind hole as to where all these points are going to go forever, basically. It can be difficult. We try the abilities out, we learn things. You know, I thought horror was going to be better than it is. Horror sucks. And I say that, it's because I love horror films. You know, it's all I watch. Actually, I watched so for Werner Herzog doc documentaries today, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> Very Werner Herzog. So there's a film he's got called Into the Inferno, which is actually on Netflix. Um, it's a documentary about volcanoes that Werner Herzog did. It's like his third documentary. He, the bro loves volcanoes, let's put it that way. Um, God, haste is cool. Let me go. Um... <laughs> And he starts off and it's a documentary about volcanoes, and somehow he makes it about, like, North Korea and propaganda and all this kind of jazz. I was just sitting there watching it thinking, this is very Werner Herzog of you, just... You took volcanoes, and now we're talking about North Korea, <laughs> somehow. And it was, it was related, it did make sense, but... 
I don't know. It's just something other documentarians don't really do, and it's something I really enjoy. I love a genre shift like that. But uh, that's my film for today. It was good. It was really good. What did I watch yesterday? It wasn't as good. It was alright. Dank cave. That is a dank ass cave right there, son. I'll be back in a second. Doggos! <laughs> It's just making all they do is make sad noises. <laughs> it's just all they're doing. They just walk up, make sad noises, and die. God, it sounds like me. It's interesting that I keep, I've been thinking about this for the entire game. Fell residue. Um. They're spelling it F-E-L-L, -L, and in my head it should always be F-E-L, but that might just be my World of Warcraft talking. Get down here, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. You any good? Four stars. No. Um, what was I saying? That's really annoying me. I'm trying to remember what film I watched yesterday. Oh, to the moon. Which I think I already talked about. Also watched When Evil Lurks recently, which was really good if you're into, uh, if you don't mind a foreign language film, which you shouldn't at the end of the day, because why would you? Reading subtitles is not that big a deal. Especially when you're used to it. I guess I kind of see why some people don't like subtitles, but I promise you, you'll get used to it if you just try. I guess you don't have to, but you miss out on so many great films. There are people, I, I know people who won't watch films with subtitles, and I just think, I mean, it's okay, you can like whatever the heck you like. Maybe you hate subtitle films, that's okay. Live your best life, or worst life. But, um, you miss out so many great films by restricting yourself to not watching subtitled films, you know? And it's a bit sad. I think people are getting better at it. Uh, Parasite obviously won the Oscar for Best Movie, and that was like the first time I think a foreign language film had ever won it, so that was quite a big deal. In terms of pushing acceptance. Funnily enough, New Godzilla. Um, Shin Godzilla and then Godzilla Minus One. Considering I don't think we ever got a dubbed release for Minus One. I think it's done quite a lot for subtitle acceptance. I just think, especially with horror, because uh, you know, most horror is American, and I feel like most American horror outside of the indie scene has been fairly terrible recently. There's some pretty cool indies that have popped up in the last few years, and even recently, with the likes of Long Legs, Stop Motion, Uneasy, or whatever it's called, is coming out soon. But I feel like, <clears throat> for whatever reason, Europe has a better grasp on horror than America. I include Britain now. There aren't very many British horror films. But a lot of my favourite horror films are British. Have we been here? No. It's confusing because this map in the top right... Because obviously we have been to these areas, right? Because they're getting reused. So this map stays shown in the top right. But then you open this map and it says, well, clearly haven't been here. We actually have a mission here. What is that? Oh, it's another tome. Okay. Oh, another chance for Meryl to hate me. <laughs> Fantastic. That's all I ever wanted. How's our money doing? Yeah, we're getting there. Slowly clambering our way back up. <laughs> what was that noise? Is that a dragon? I don't think it was a dragon. Well, something's definitely about to try to murder me. I think that goes without saying. <laughs> what is it going to be? Is it a dragon? This, but it's only a baby dragon. Quite strong for a baby dragon. Well, it's not a baby dragon, it's just a straight up dragon, but it's not a high dragon, you know? Oh yeah, I forgot. 
I always think to, I always forget to do this against single targets. Forgetting that, honestly, single target is the best thing to use this on. Look at it, it just can't do a bloody thing. Bonkers. I just think how many spells I could throw out before the game got annoyed at my uh, mana management. Oh, I'm stunned. Fucking guessed him. I'll tell you what, that dragon was uh, as tough as the high dragon, weirdly enough. Hello. Uh, 29 silver. If it wants, come on. Some of these better be worth a lot because that was a very disappointing loot pile. Let's nice burn another book. I'm sorry, Meryl. Oh gosh, she's hitting me more and more. I'm gonna lose the uh, bonus eventually. The Revenants are very eager beavers, aren't they? Look what you made me do, you numpties. Scared about Meryl. We're okay for now, but I'm gonna have to gonna have to win her over again. Oh, I don't know. I'll have sex with a blood mage book or something. That'll do it. <clears throat> Done it, right? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. There's more ways to get dank. How do I get dank? We may never know. <laughs> Alright, I think we are done with the coast. So we did miss out the Veratol, or whatever the heck it's called, but I don't think we can do that right now. It just it doesn't seem to be anywhere, so I'm assuming we'll get another quest in the Wounded Coast, and maybe that'll guide us to it, basically. I do not... Yeah, I mean, look at that. Look at that exploration. That's top-notch stuff right there. For the 50th time. <laughs> It's funny, if we're going to come back in Act 3, and we will have to explore the Wounded Coast again, I'm pretty sure. For now, let's get out of here. We'll go sell some stuff, go respec. It's not really necessary. It's, it's literally moving maybe three skill points, but I want to move those skill points. So, we're going to do it. Back down to the city. Yeah, I can't do that. Okay, let's hit up the Emporium, grab a thingamajiggy. There's a note for the Gamlins as well. I'm so tired. <laughs> oh, it's quarter past 11. In my head, if I can make it to about 4 p.m., I'll be okay. 4 to 5. I'd, li I'd like to wake up tomorrow. I don't care if it's 1 a.m. tomorrow, but I would like to wake up tomorrow. You know, that's kind of where my head's at at the moment. That's, that's kind of my goal. I know I have lofty goals. <laughs> what can I say? I, I dream big. Alright, is any of this any good? That's gotta be better. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw that on. I don't care about attack. 10 health, magic resistance. What have you got at the moment? 10 health, 2 crit. Um, right, let me think about this. Each point of health provides 0.25 additional mana. And she's got 288 health, right? So that means that that is worth... Well, it's worth 60 mana. No, 70 mana. 71 mana. That's worth... That, that little effect right there is worth 71 mana. 
A little bit less. You have to take off 25% because she doesn't... But, I mean, let's say it's worth 50. It's worth 50 mana. Now, compared to... The health one... That only gains... Uh... No, well, to be fair, she gains about 4 mana per HP, right? So 10 health is worth... 40 mana. So it's not quite as good, but it's close to as good. <clears throat> okay, I guess I can't replace her with the ring, so... Isabella, one of these has got to be good for you, surely. 15 attack. We don't want that. We want ring of seven, I think, instead. This one. Yeah, goddamn. <laughs> okay. Oh, god, they're both terrible. Right, you can have that one as well. Enjoy. What about you? I feel like I have neglected her a little bit. That's good, though. Uh, it's this way. Um, what, what is she wearing? There you go. She doesn't need it. That doesn't do anything. Her attack's 100% anyway. She may still have that. What about the belt? No, they're the same. Physical damage? Oh, that was better, though. Okay. Rock and roll, baby. That's the roll, baby. Okay, we're done now. Some Give me money! 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 Something here works. Oh God, it's not really. I was hoping for way more than that. Yeah, we're getting there, though. Uh, it does have some pretty cool looking stuff. Nothing for me, unfortunately. What armor? King something the forgot. Look at that. 152 defense. 20% damage resistance. We will never wear it, but it's bonkers. That's pretty good. Courtness of the... No, no, I don't need that. That's really good as well. I wouldn't mind Fallen Star. Uh, no, what am I here for? Just want make a siphon out. <laughs> Although I made a slight mistake. I was meant to check what my stats were at. Alright, I'm going to go up to 20 const... I think I'm going to go like that, and then every point from now on goes into magic. I don't think I need past 25 willpower, really. I actually thought willpower was your um, regen rate, and it's not. Okay, right. Skills. Okay, okay. So I want this. I need two points in... Ah, see, that's the problem. But I... Okay, so I want unshakable. Do I want 50 fortitude? I want that as well, though. Crap. <laughs> I think I do want pull. Do I? What, what's for? I don't even know what fortitude is. Yeah, no, I do want. Okay. So, so I can't really do anything different here. I, I still want all of those, I think. I don't want any of these upgrades, but I'm pretty sure that's exactly how I'd already spent these points in the past. <laughs> um, I don't care about telekinetic or fist, but I do really care about both of these. I don't really use pull as much, but I think it's hard to deny it's a really good combo of grit, grit, uh, gravitic. I think I want everything here. I've only got five points left. Um, have I spent more points somehow? <laughs> what did I buy last time? I had two points in heal. And then I had a point in winter's grasp. And a point in... Yeah, I'm not... I'm not I'm, I, I might not pick up... I'm going to get a heal, but I'm only going to get one. I'm not going to get the bonus heal. Because I think, I think it's... I'm just going to get standard heal for now. We'll probably upgrade it later, but that'll do for now. I think it's handy to have a heal. Um, I think I want elemental weapons at some point, because that's only 10% of my mana. And it's going to give damage to everyone. So I'm going to grab that now. And then we're going to come up here. I'm going to go this way, because I want to really want to grab Firestorm. Because I think that's my highest damage ability in the game. 36 damage every second. For 10 seconds. I thought they did more, actually. Um, and we can increase that by 25%. All fire damage by 25%. So we want to start picking up 
I mean, and that's going to be another 25%. So we want to get a fire staff if possible. I think that's what I wanted to do. Yeah, but yeah, a fire staff will be a really big deal. Because it's going to do 50% more damage by the time we get all the upgrades. Okay, let me organize my bars slightly. I'm, I'm literally going to drop Fist of the Maker and Burst. You sit over there. You sit over there. You sit over there. Fireball is rubbish. I'm not even going to have that on the bars either. <laughs> um... I think these are still my major ones. I'm gonna put that there. Something like that. What is my stuff at the moment? Is it nature? Spirit. So if I cast this, does everyone get spirit weapons? It is on them. Okay, cool. So, yeah, if we can get fire, that'll be a really big deal. I wonder if, if I scale up, if I get fire and I've got plus 50% damage, do you reckon they get more fire damage on their weapons? I'd be interested to know that. So, da -da, single target, small AoE, big AoE, big AoE, control and stun. Okay, cool. Right, we have a gajillion quest to turn in. Like, little, lots of little bitty things. My inventory's empty, right? Yeah. I'm happy with this now. I didn't, I didn't, I just, I didn't like the spirit one that I had. I didn't like the, uh, the other one either. What the heck? Oh my god, a billion quests. Um. I didn't like horror. So I'd wasted. T I'd say I'd only wasted two points, but I can't sit there having wasted two points because that'll upset me forever, so... <laughs> this is fine. This feels better. I'm going to move you to there, though. Cool. And also, like I've been saying, we have a big mana pool, right? So we should be using it for things like uh, elemental weapons. I found your patrol. They won't be coming back. You have stolen my duty, Basra. We were supplied for this task, but you have done this instead. Take what was meant for us. I thought it was annoyed to me. Blinky's comfort. What the heck is that? It's a sword. It's a great sword. It's not a very good great sword, but it's a great sword. It looks like a tanking great sword. It gives 30 health. Uh, right, so I'm ignoring that because that's big stuff. Let's go turn this in. We should we should get a bunch of gold here. We've got lots of little. Yo, I found a corpse over here, and I found a corpse over here. Who wants a corpse? Hey, do I do? You know, everyone wants a corpse. Look what I found. Your reason. Double level up, baby. Um, I think I'm just plugging into magic now. We get magic resist, which I think is pretty good. But more importantly, I do more damage. It actually affects my actual damage as well. I might I might attack. I'm just gonna be a right click mage at this rate. Down for that. Right, we should increase Firestorm. Fire damage plus 32. Yeah, okay. It's gonna... It's up to 95, Jesus. Wait, let me go back. <laughs> um, why has that jumped up so much? 127 fire damage every second for 10 seconds in a 15 meter radius. 50 meters is huge. This is 18. That's massive. I'm excited about that. And we're gonna get another 25 on top of that. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna wreck with this ability. Aveline, what do you want? Do you want anything? Oh, she's not my friend anymore. Sad. I've been nothing but nice to these people. I swear to God. Um, I don't really have any great plans for Aveline. Taunt. What's this? Bravery. I can't use that with battle synergy, but I don't want to use battle synergy, so. But it's another. Sure, why not? Let's get you some const, a bit of strength. Is Meryl still my friend? It's gotta be close. Yeah, Meryl this is. So somehow, like the gap between Meryl. Maybe it's actually when it hits the D. 
you know? Oh yeah. So Meryl is just in there, and Aveline is just out of there. We'll get her back, don't you worry about it. We'll get her back. Let's go talk to Selby. This was the uh, mission we just did at the end with the apostate who we freed and set off to be free like the eagles. That's the eagle says. Oh. Rock and rock. I got paramour on my head. Rock and roll, baby. Don't you know, baby? We're all alone now. Yep. Need something to think about. 4% cut. No. I, I can start to build fire damage though. I'm down to start collecting fire damage. If you've the coin. Anyone on the board? Many thanks, Monsieur. Your payment? One bloody god. I don't know. Sometimes the gold rewards feel a little weird in this one. I don't know about that. I don't know about one gold. Uh, deep runes? Yeah, that's 50% uh, more damage. And a paralyzed chance as well. I'm not convinced she's doing that if, by default. Uh, yeah. right. it, it is an AoE ability, so. And it doesn't work against skeletons. And we've had a lot of skeletons lately. Who else doesn't have blood? Is there anything other than skeletons I fought? I mean, do fade monsters have blood? They're, they're, they're like demons, but demons have blood, right? Next time there's a demon, I'm going to check it out. I'm, I'm quite curious. Uh, companions. Let's go talk to Meryl at a home. A sneer on your lip, but wanting. Meryl. Rock and roll, baby. Oh, God. This is such an unprofessional video. <laughs> I'm just sitting here, rubbing my eyes, trying to stay awake. But we've only got 10 minutes left. <laughs> Committed. This is how I stay awake, but it means you have to deal with it. <laughs> it's not fair on you folks. But it's just the way of the world. What is that? Is that bread or cheese? It's huge either way. I've got something for you. God, I look cool. Ooh. Did you get this from Master Island? Mythal, did I miss some important occasion? I'm so sorry. I'll make it up to you. I promise. There's no occasion, Meryl. I just thought you'd like it. I, I do like it. I'm sorry I'm making a mess of this. No one has ever given me a present before. Useful things. Tools or clothes. Because I needed them, not just because. Maseranus, I'll find a good place for this. She loves it. Cute. It's funny, we picked it up when we were with Meryl, so she saw me carrying it around for God knows how long. Probably looking at it and thinking, I'd really like that. <laughs> uh, right, ignore that. Secondary, can't do that. The keep. Actually, let's hit up the, the gamblins as well. Well, it's not, where is gamblin? See, I know Gamlin was a bit of a dick. He did he did some bad things, but he did get us into the city, sort of. And he did put us up for like a year. He let us live in his house. There was no room in that house and he let three of us stay with him. I know he was he's not a perfect guy or anything. I'm not gonna pretend otherwise, but oh, hey, you had luck on your travels? A new letter on your desk awaits your attention. Alright. Simmer down. <laughs> so I'll calm down a little bit here. Um, don't I have a new rune slot? Am I crazy? Oh, no, I don't. I've got an armor slot there. Uh, what do we want? Defense? Sure. Notice your considerable talents. Have an opportunity maybe of interest to you. Meet me in High Town at midnight. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, 
Mate. <laughs> I mean, does anyone know the difference between defense and armor? I sure as hell don't. Is it chance of getting hit? Defense? Did you ever run the wilds, boy? Kirkwall is no city for a breed used to open spaces. Nice as your estate is, it's not healthy for a Mabari to be cooped up. May I take him to the barracks time to time? He could help train my guards. Good idea. He'll put the fear of dog into them. Good. I think it's time they face down a good old Mabari charge. How about it, boy? Wanna chew on some recruits? It's <laughs> a good boy. Ah, oh, Aveline did not appreciate that. I need Aveline back on side. It makes me sad that she doesn't love me. Everyone has to love me. Okay, to the keep. We're just tidying up at the moment. I'm ready for big things to come down the line. Uh, yep. Rock and roll, baby. I'll stop. So I've just had to. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <sighs> Folks. I've played. So much Dragon Age this weekend. It's all I've done all weekend. Is watch a film a day and play obsessive amounts of this game. It's wild. Good day, sir. At some point fairly recently, I was about 20 videos ahead on this channel, if not less. I'm now, I think this is 80 ahead as of this video. Dragon Age Origins is going to be finished for months. <laughs> Literally months. <laughs> I just, uh, I don't know. My life is empty. <laughs> That's all it is. Lieutenant Harley said I should see you about a reward. That's it. Not even going to mention your scuffle with Evitt's marauders. Killing the whole lot of them. Does the postman celebrate when he delivers the post? No. That does ring a bell. Hard to remember. I've killed so many things. I believe that. I do. There's one small rub, though. Their leader, Evitt's, wasn't there, was he? I don't think so. They weren't wearing name tags. Evitz is the worst of the lot. He may try to get revenge one day. He can wait his turn. I won't lose any sleep over it. Maybe nothing will come of it. Thanks again for your help. Oh yeah, I'm sure nothing will come of it. I'm sure... <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. What did, I, what did I decide I wanted? I want to twist the knife, I think. I wouldn't mind taking follow through. Maybe I need evade or something. It's up there. Where's evade? There's an evade somewhere. Um. I can get her. She does. She gets attacked a lot. <laughs> she really does. So let's 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 start getting her a few slightly more defensive abilities. I think that's a good idea. Right. Let's have a look at what's on the docket. Working on that. Okay. Low town. Go hand in the corpse. <laughs> How is there? This, there's a million quests everywhere. I look. Don't worry about it. It's it's all little nicky nacky things. I don't haven't really touched the main plot for chapter two quite yet. The arrow shock wants to talk to us, which is quite exciting. If you're into arrow shocks, and who isn't, quite frankly. Rock and rock. Shush, shush, vagrant. <laughs> um, yeah. I just I'm aware that the veil guard comes out sometime in fall, probably in a few months, and I need to be ready for that. There's a lot to do before then. Life is very difficult. So many video games to play. I think I found something of yours. Thank the maker of that bury us on this. I need to lock this up. It's a corpse. <laughs> I found a corpse. <laughs> what are you people on about? I literally found a corpse. And I was like, yeah, first valuable. <laughs> Put it away. Something of yours, sir. You have done a great kindness in return. A great kindness. It's always British accents. 
or Western Europe. Very rarely in fantasy games do, do, do they expand out. You know, no one sounds like they're from Louisiana, you know what I mean? No one sounds like they're from the Deep South. There's no one... How often... I never hear... You never hear someone in a game like this with a Boston accent. You know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't happen. And there's really no reason it couldn't be. I know it's based on medieval Europe, like most fantasy is. But it's not medieval Europe. Look at it. It's 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 a fantasy land. It actually looks really nice. But it's a, it's a made-up fantasy land. They could all sound like they're from Boston, and it'd be okay. <laughs> I'm not sure people would enjoy that, but it would be okay. Midnight in Hightown. Gallows. Someone must be in the gallows. I was going to do a Boston accent and I decided against it. I thought better of it, actually, would be the way to describe that. Especially, the only accent I can do is Irish. And that's only because I am half Irish. And not in, like, the American... There's... Oh, I saw the funny thing. So I've got... I, I take a little bit of umbrage, I'm not going to lie, with um, Americans. I'm sorry if you're American, you feel like I'm slagging you off in this video. That's not the purpose. But it just Many happens more. to be a very American thing. I where people... Get really into that their, their distant heritage, like oh my great grandfather was Irish, I'm Irish, kind of thing. Like you've never been to Ireland or whatever, but people get really into it and they talk about their clan and all this, and they talk about Ireland in a way that Irish people would never talk about Ireland. And the funniest thing I saw it just earlier today, someone had posted on Reddit this woman, and she got a back tattoo at like the top of her back, and it was um, wait, how can I turn in with you? Thank you, my friend. Oh, right. Yeah. Only one thing on the list left to find. And, um, so she's got a back tattoo. And, uh, ooh, do I want that now, actually? I'm going to take that over the rose ring. I think. Yeah, that's rubbish. 4%. I mean, 4 percent's not tons, but it's not terrible either. Welcome gonna, back. Gonna make, I'm, it's only for one spell, but it's gonna make five stone baller. Um, it's just she's got a back tattoo, like the very not not like a tramp stamp kind of thing, but the top of it, like between her shoulder blades, and it was like an Irish Celtic weave, basically. And she she was American, and she she posted it. It was a, it was a nicely done tattoo, and <laughs> she she said she got it to celebrate her heritage. She was Irish, yada yada. But it turns out it was wrong. <laughs> like she'd done a twenty three and me thing, but she put the data it's wrong or something like home. that. And it turns out she wasn't Irish. What she had no Irish heritage whatsoever, and she spent the entire rest of the thread saying, "Oh, I'm not Irish. I'm Italian." But she had no connection with Ireland. She didn't know anything about Ireland. She just saw on this website that she's got Irish heritage and she decides, yes, I'm going to throw that on my back. I'm going to make that like a big part of my personality. You know, that's what bugs me because nobody does that in Ireland. You go to Ireland, do you know how many people you see with Irish themed tattoos? Nobody. Because <laughs> it would be weird. It's such a quintessentially American thing to do. To... Because you know what really confuses me about it? I'm going to rant about this. America is so obnoxiously patriotic, largely. And again, not everyone. I'm sure there's plenty of you watching this who are American who are not like this whatsoever. But America is probably the most patriotic nation on the planet. Outside of, like, North Korea, maybe. And that's not real patriotism. In terms of, like, yeah, America, fuck yeah, kind of attitude. Nobody does that like America. And yet everybody... <laughs> oh, not everybody, obviously. But it's such a common occurrence in America that despite that... Everyone wants to be from somewhere else. Everyone's like, I'm Irish, I'm Italian, I'm yada yada. Those are the big two. And don't get me wrong, th there is a cultural influence from both of those in particular, because in cities like New York, which were largely built by immigrants, it was, by and large, Italian and Irish immigrants. But, like, my last name is Scottish, and my granddad's from Scotland. And I don't claim to be from... Sc I don't claim to be Scottish. I've got some Scottish blood, but it's not like... It's a difference between admitting that you are... You have some distant heritage from somewhere, distant blood, many generations removed, and making it like this indelible part of your intrinsic personality. It just doesn't have to be. And nobody else does it. <laughs> nobody does it at all. It's very silly. And she was just such an incredible example of this that she just thought, right, I'm Irish, I'm throwing this tattoo on my back, and I guarantee from the bottom of my heart that she will go and get an Italian-themed tattoo sometime soon. 
It's not. I'm not annoyed by this, by the way. It's just I. I, I just find it really funny. It's such a weird phenomenon because it's so uniquely American. <sighs> that said, as the rise of white, white, as the rise of right wing politics, I'm not going to get political. Don't worry. But as right wing politics takes more of a hold, as it is unfortunately doing in Europe, I'm afraid to say. If you happen to be right wing, I think all your views are terrible. <laughs> as right-wing politics begin to take more of a hold in Europe, that kind of overt nationalism... It's fine. I don't think there's anything wrong with being patriotic at all. But that kind of overt nationalism, which then turns into, you know, no more immigrants and this kind of obnoxious version of patriotism, that's becoming more and more common. And there's a lot of gammons, as we'd call them now in Britain, typically big, bold men called Barry down the pub, <laughs> who, look, I get along and know plenty of people like that who are... I had class as good mates. But then you get the whole, well, the immigrants taking our jobs and stuff like that. And look, I could talk about that for ages. But the same attitude you saw 10 years ago in America are becoming more and more common now in Western Europe. We've seen it with France, who narrowly avoided electing the right-wing party fairly recently. And that, that was just unheard of 20 years ago. 10 years ago, reform just got tons of votes in the election in, in, uh, in the UK. Never would have happened 10 years ago. Not a chance in hell. The BNP got slaughtered every time. Reform did really well. Despite being a horrible racist party. <laughs> so, I don't know. Anyways, I'll stop talking. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Next video, we're going to tie up a couple more of these loose ends. We don't really have uh, many. We're going to do this one, Midnight Meeting. And that is actually it. So we can start to work on the main plot after that. Exciting times. Thank you for joining me. Cheers much of as always. Bye-bye.